Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video of Star Trek Fleet Command. So I had some awesome things happen in the game today, and I just want to share with those with you, especially since I was chatting in the Discord chat, and, and the people who were responding didn't know what transporter patterns were, as they are something that are much more difficult to get. So I'm going to explain those. I'm going to go over a Mac. Uh, I'm going to run through uh, maxing up my Spock so you guys can kind of see the costs associated with that. Um, there's also a, a new uh, ship crew that I'm going to be using um, to show you guys kind of how that's going to work. Um, so yeah, so hopefully everyone is having a good night tonight. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is, well, let's see, let's go into the transporter, uh, pattern buffers, or I should say probably transporter patterns, I think is what they're referred to. So this is what it looks like. So you get a transporter pattern whenever you duplicate an epic or a rare officer. And I believe how it works is you get 75 transporter patterns per um, rare, which would be the blue, if I'm using the right terminology there. And then for the pink ones, you get 100 for every time you duplicate a shard past the point of their max level. So for me, I got a bonus of Spock, so I got a whole bunch of them. Um, and you do need a whole bunch for these. So you need at least a thousand. So you're going to have to probably get at least 10 extra shards to just get one shard of your choosing. What's really nice about this is you can choose who to spend it on. So in my situation, I'm seriously lacking in Pike. Pike, I have not unlocked yet. I've been wanting Pike for... Ever since he came out and scope, the Scopely Gods are still banning me from getting him. So I'm going to go ahead. So as you can see, I have 1,275. I'm going to go ahead and use this on the chest and get one shard of pike here. And then I do have some more. Um, so you can definitely decide who you're going to want to use it on. Definitely re uh, recommend Pike. Um, I'm not really going for Kirk or Gorkin or Nero because those are very common to get. Um, King, mm, maybe. Um, Pike and Carol are probably the two in here that I really like, but I already have Carol unlocked, so I don't really need her. So I'm also going to go back in here and just, these are just burning a hole in my pocket. I bought a hundred dollar pack for the crew, so I got uh, ten point five thousand ultra recruit shards. So let's see if we can get a bonus on Pike. That would be the best thing right now, and I do not believe I'm going to get it. Oh, there's two. That's nice. A lot of these officers, I am on the verge of um, fully unlocking or getting a second tier on. Which, when I tier up Spock, you're going to see <laughs> is kind of a, a curse in a way. Because um, they're very expensive. The last tier is incredibly expensive. Um, the tier before it isn't so bad. Um, but this is another reason why I don't think common should require any kind of badges because they're just not worth it i mean i don't use any green officers on my ships so they're just it's not worth the um upgrade cost to do that for them um because those resources are better spent on these epics and rares come on give me one bonus on an officer that's what i'm hoping to see here and I get the feeling since I bonus Spock earlier today, I probably won't get that. It would be nice to finally unlock Kang, though. I have to admit that. Uh, 
Uh, two more pike shards. They're starting to come faster now. They were so, like, few and far between before. I'm getting close to being able to tear up Nero, which is a good thing. I definitely use him on my ships. Carol, I have her unlocked, but it's only her basic level. There's some transporter patterns right there. So you see I got 75 for that single shard. So nothing all that all that special. I didn't really get bonuses on anything. Um, but every Spock shard I get now, I get a transporter uh, pattern for, which is really cool. So let's go over and take a look at Spock here. So, as you can see, just to tear him up is going to be 500,000 crew XP, 12,000 Federation faction credits, and two science badges. These are the, the really stick big sticking point for a lot of players are these badges, because you can't get them. From, there, there's a single faction pack you can buy in the faction store that I believe gives you two of each, two command, two science, and two engineering. The problem is, for Spock, the current tier that he's on costed one science badge. Now it wants another two science badges. So that's a total of three badges. And can can you imagine doing that to every officer? Um, that's that's kind of my point with Scopely is the less important officers, you should be able to max rank without using these badges badges because they're just not worth it. And this is going to hurt because I'm saving up for the Enterprise. But I got to use 12,000 of my 30,000 faction credits for feds just to tear him up, which sucks. But he is such an amazing officer. Plus, with the crew setup that I'm using, it's going to be even more beneficial. And this is a ton of crew XP that I am just... Burning away. I can't even get, get him up all the way. <laughs> so I got him up to level 26. Woo! That is, that is incredibly costly. So the good thing, though, is that while the ship has morale, uh, Spock will restore shield health to an amount equal to 750% of the defense of the officers on the ship. This this is the reason why Spock is so popular, is because he will keep those shields up no matter what. And let's take a look and remove these guys. If my game would respond, come on. And bones. So I'm going to be using this setup right here. And I have to give a shout out to Demons Run from the Borg Alliance. She was attacking me last night. I asked her to. Um, and she was using this crew setup. And I was like, wait, what? I haven't really given Bones all that much consideration before because of his officer ability. I'm like, I'm not really seeing it. And I was talking with Gregor, our resident expert on crew setups. And he was, <laughs> it was funny because he was like, yeah, I've been telling you about this for months. And he has. Um, the big thing about Bones' captain ability. So remember, Kirk doesn't need to be a captain to do morale. Spock doesn't need to be captain to regenerate his shields. Those are both their officer abilities. Bones' captain ability is he gives a bonus of 42% to all the officer abilities 
uh, on the bridge during combat. So that means that Spock 750%, you're going to have that multiplier of 42% on top of that, as well as Kirk's, well, let's see. At the beginning of each round, Kirk has a 70% chance of inspiring morale to the ship for two rounds. That's going to have another 42% multiplier on that as well. So you're going to see, more than likely, these triggering every round. And those shields are going to keep on regenerating all the time. On top of that, this is, this is one that's a little bit questionable in, in my eyes. Because I'm not sure how much I see this. But Gregor promises me that it does take effect. It is very effective, but you need really long battles to re really kind of see that benefit. But he, every time the ship gets hit, he does increase the defense on all bridge officers of the bridge by 25%. Now, remember what Spock's ability does. He increases 750% of the defense of the officers on the ship. And Bones is, every time the ship gets hit, he's increasing the defense of all officers on the bridge by 25%. So they're definitely working in tandem there. So I'm not sure exactly how you're going to see that on a battle report. But really, the effectiveness of these crew, you're, you're definitely going to see it play out. Let's see if I can... If I can play with this and... Why am I in, I'm not supposed to be in Gawak. Let's see. Oh, there's a scout. Perfect. Now, remember, these little ships that are shooting across the screen, these are the ships you definitely want to uh, take out because you can get easy um, faction credits for the Romulan faction by taking out these Federation scouts. All right, so let's take a look at the battle reports. So you're seeing those abilities hit right away. <laughs> and it was just run one round. Let me see if I can find a level 37 explorer to hit right down over here. This is also going to be a situation where you can have a ship continually go and have the battle stop where you have very little hull health left, full shields, and the enemy ship hasn't been destroyed yet because the battle situation um, will max cap at 50 rounds. All right, three rounds here. So we see see that going off all the time. So yeah, so I think this would be a really good um, PvP setup. And it would be even a really good situation that if they have a crew member who's trying to nullify your captain Kirk and Spock are still going on on the sides so that's a really good thing a really good compliment to have to your ship and I can't believe it's taken me this long to kind of figure that one out but hopefully you got something from this video if you do have any questions on the transporter patterns definitely put that down below Make sure to hit that subscribe and that, that like button and hit the bell so you get those notifications for future videos. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll talk with you later.